Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about two things pertaining to the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collaboration concerning both the vault and the brushes. One of the incidents I'll be covering today is something that I've been working on for the last month or so, which is Morphe committing trademark infringement against a smaller company. They used the name Face Master Collection for their Jaclyn Hill face brush collection. Morphe's usage of the name Face Master infringes on the existing trademark currently owned by a company called Gabby Rose Makeup. The other incident I'll be talking about in today's video is something that I saw this morning in my YouTube subscription feed, where Pretty Pastel Police uploaded a video where she discussed how Morphe deleted her negative review of the vault collection. First, I want to discuss Pretty Pastel Police's latest video concerning her negative review of the vault. This is something I've noticed as well ever since people began to criticize the vault on social media, and more on that later on. Here are some of the clips from the video, which will be linked down below. If you saw my video about negative reviews, you might remember I was just a little bit upset that Jacqueline was saying that negative reviews are not a thing. You know, she was really, really adamant that influencers do not get paid to make negative reviews. She's like, this is not a thing. It's not a thing. Well, I think I understand why Jacqueline doesn't believe in negative reviews now, because, uh, I left a little bit of a negative review for the Vault Collection on the Morphe website and it conveniently vanished. No wonder she thinks negative reviews aren't a thing. On the video of mine where I was talking about Jaclyn Hill, a lot of people were leaving comments and saying that they had purchased the Vault Collection and their negative reviews were disappearing. After my initial experience with the Vault Collection, which is when I first played with Bling Boss and I was horrified by how terrible it was, I went and wrote a review and I was very kind I didn't swear, I didn't say anything that could possibly have been deemed inappropriate. I just said, I am not happy with this palette. I found the shades to be inconsistent and patchy and they weren't as pigmented as I thought that they would be. And I pressed post, I think I gave it one star or two stars, I can't remember. I pressed post and it disappeared immediately. Now I do have the second version, I bought it on the official launch of the second version. It should have all been fixed by this point, but it, it it's so inconsistent. So. If you go on the Morphe's website, you'll see the Vault Collection as a 4.5 star review. To be fair, there are a handful of bad reviews. Given the backlash these palettes received, I can only assume that there was a lot more negative reviews than the ones that are on their website right now. However, if you visit Ulta and look for the Morphe Vault section, you'll see the reviews are a lot less favorable and a lot different than the ones on Morphe's website. Back to Morphe's vault review section. Here are some positive reviews where the helpful versus not helpful ratio is very telling. I collected these receipts last month because I was planning to use them in another video that I was going to do. I won't be reading these reviews out loud, I'll just be pointing out the likes to dislike ratios. This first 5 star review has 12 likes and 175 dislikes. This one has 32 likes and 372 dislikes. This review has 18 likes and 381 dislikes. This review has 22 likes and 203 dislikes. This next review has 22 likes and 241 dislikes. This one has 13 likes and 201 dislikes. Another review has 32 likes and 85 dislikes. This one has 17 likes and 123 dislikes. This one has 11 likes and 232 dislikes. This very last review has 16 likes and 190 dislikes. Anyway, on to the second incident pertaining to the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Face Master Brush Collection.
have the Face Master Collection, which the bag is similar but just bigger. And there's something about this bag that really gives me life. So inside, we have five brushes in the Face Master bag. So these are all five of the face brushes in the Face Master Collection. And on August 24th, Morphe announced their Face Master Brush Collection in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. I was sent a DM later that evening by one of my supporters who saw a comment left on Morphe's brush announcement post. This comment was left by a celebrity makeup artist named Gabriella Rosales, who is also known as Gabby Rose Makeup on Instagram. Her comment reads, Hi, I'm trying to contact you about a copyright issue with the names you're using in the collection, but no response. Please, how can I get in touch with the proper person to discuss this matter? The Face Master is a registered name and can't be used for any other makeup brushes. So please do the right thing and reply. Thanks. A little bit about Gabriella. She is from Florida and does makeup in the Miami and New York City areas. She also hosts makeup classes nationwide. A few years ago, she launched her own brush line and in 2017, she launched a brush called the Face Master. Anyway, not being strangers to lifting ideas from other brands, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill decided to take the Face Master name for themselves. However, this time around, unlike Morphe's recent scandal where they attempted to sue Becca Cosmetics over the use of the Champagne Pop artwork, they were unable to do the same thing to Gabriella since she already had the Face Master brush name trademarked. Now, before anyone tries to dispute the fact that this is trademark infringement, I want to point out that trademark infringement occurs when two different brands use the same name for the same type of products. Gabby Rose Makeup currently holds the Face Master trademark, which is for a face brush, and Morphe also used the same name for their face brush collection as well. However, if they were both different products with the same name, Morphe would not have gotten themselves into a pickle like this. For instance, if Morphe launched a line of skincare and called it Face Master, they'd still be able to use the name. However, since both Face Masters not only share the same name, but both are for brushes. So yes, it is considered trademark infringement, which can land them in hot water, hence this video. I told you a little bit about Gabriella just a moment ago, but now I want to talk more about her Face Master brush. As you just heard, the Face Master is in fact trademarked. The brush made its debut on June 29, 2017. Gabrielle filed for the trademark on March 31, 2017, and the trademark was registered on October 31, 2017. Before the Face Master brush, Gabriella has launched several successful makeup brushes. These brushes are favorites among Makeup by Mario, who is Kim Kardashian's makeup artist, Anastasia Sora, who is the founder of Anastasia Beverly Hills, Tamana Roshan from Dress Your Face, the latter which collaborated with her for a giveaway during the holidays of 2000. 2016. As a matter of fact, here's some video footage of Mario and Anastasia both showing off her brushes. that many celebrity makeup artists are using her brushes and make it known via their social media, there's no way that Morphe and Jaclyn Hill never heard of this Face Master brush before. Anyway, after my supporter direct me to the comment Gabrielle left on Morphe's Instagram that I just read a moment ago, I reached out to her to ask what happened and this is what she had to say. This brush the Face Master is just unique in every way and doesn't exist in any other brand. That's why influencers and makeup artists like Mario, Anastasia, Dress Your Face, Toddy Bueno, and many more can't stop using it once they try it and it's always sold out. In fact, it's sold out right now and I'm working hard to bring her back. So imagine being a very small self-financing business, pay all your taxes, trademarks, liabilities, and try to do everything in the best and legal way possible. And see how this huge company can't even reply to an email, DM, or comment that's so disappointing. And I really love Morphe, by the way, and didn't want to bring any drama into this, but what else can I do? I found out that Gabrielle is from Florida, the same state as Jaclyn Hill. Being that Morphe and Jaclyn were recently in litigation with Becca over another trademark infringement, and just to rule out those possibilities, I was curious to know if she knew Jacqueline or if they followed each other. Gabriella says she does not know Jacqueline personally and they do not follow each other on any social media. While I was putting all this together, I told my friend Zadi Doll, who also reached out to Gabriella to give her a list of attorneys to hire to take legal action against Morphe. Zadi also wrote a blog post, which is linked down below in case you wanted to read more about the legalities of this. I've been in touch with Gabriella since the beginning and I didn't want to talk about this right away until there was some sort of resolution to all this. I did not want to interfere 
interfere with what could possibly turn into a lawsuit which could have jeopardized the outcome if I were to do this video last month. So Gabriella's attorney contacted Morphe to let them know that they are infringing on Gabriella's trademark. She informed me yesterday that not only did Morphe fail to apologize or financially compensate her for infringing her trademark, I can only assume these brushes with the new name, which is Complexion Master, are currently being produced so they don't miss a beat with selling these brushes, thus never going out of stock so they can profit as much as possible off the Face Master name before they are legally forbidden to use it anymore. With regards to them not paying her, she is legally entitled to pursue them again so that she can get paid. However, these lawsuits do cost a lot of money and they are often more trouble than they are worth. It's just appalling to me that Morphe and Jaclyn Hill made millions off this brush set collection alone, yet they can't do the right thing and compensate Gabriella. Anyway, as for my opinions on all this, I feel for Gabriella and everyone who has received terrible quality vaults that got censored by the company to prevent them from leaving honest reviews on their website. Morphe cannot take criticism, so if that's the case, maybe they should either grow a damn spine or make better quality products. You all know how I feel about brands deleting negative reviews since I did a whole video about Sephora deleting negative reviews on the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered palette. I'm glad Gabriella stood up for herself and her company and was successful in pursuing them and to change their name of the Face Master brushes. It's not fair that they refused to pay a dime for something that they did wrong. They made money off her trademark and didn't have enough decency to apologize to her for the harm that they caused her business. Oh, and one last thing before I go, and this was brought up on Reddit last month and I'm surprised that not many people have been talking about it. Remember back when Morphe said that this vault would be permanent? Well, it looks like the vault is being discontinued and I am not surprised. The announcement reads, get in on the action before the vault collection disappears forever. No joke. Anyway, that's it for this video. As always, let me know what you think down below and thank you for watching.